even if we get desired by other ethnicities, mm-hmm. but we don't have the respect from our own mm-hmm. Asian women, look at what the, has happened to the black community. Mm-hmm. They're not even respected. Mm-hmm. Because if other ethnicity of men, mm-hmm. and guys, I don't give a shit. I'm going to say it as it is. Come and, come and get me. Come and hate me. Mm-hmm. If you don't have respect from your own freaking Asian, uh, own ethnicity women, you ain't going to have any respect from any other ethnicity of men. Mm-hmm. So we complain right now about not being the freaking leader. We complain about not being the alpha man. We complain about not being yeah. the president or the CEO. Until we freaking gain respect from other women, mm-hmm. and specifically our own ethnicity women, yep. we ain't never going to get that. Nope. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of His yes. and Hers. This is my lovely wife. Sim, nice to meet everyone again. Yeah, yes, and my name is Tuan, guys. Mm-hmm. Loyal viewers, new viewers, yeah. thank you so much for joining today <laughs> on this video that we're going to be shooting today. Yeah. Uh, but before we get into it, guys, right, please smash that like button. Boom. Turn on the notification bell, right? Ding! Check our channel over on TikTok at yep. His and Hers YT. Mm-hmm. Guys, we're almost hit approaching the 600 subscriber mark. So please subscribe, subscribe. And share, share, share. I've noticed yes. we're getting a lot of love there, but let's let's keep keep it going. Okay? Yeah. Show really, us some more love. Really appreciate the comments mm-hmm. and all the, you know, the interaction from the last couple of videos, guys. Yep. So thank you so much. Yeah. I think like I was telling my wife and I think mm-hmm. we both agree 2022. Yep. It's a big year, uh, not only for us, but I think just for the, the manosphere, the RP mm-hmm. community. Uh, I, I hope it goes mainstream. I talked yeah. about that in another video because mm-hmm. we really need to debunk the lies, right? Expose the truth. Yep. And one of the lies that really, you know, I believe and I know that needs to get squashed is this mm-hmm. whole feminism ideology. Yes. Right. So, guys, yeah, please, please continue sharing, Mm -hmm. letting people know about uh, the content, whether it's ours or, you know, other other people Mm -hmm. in those in this community. Okay, so, guys, speaking about obviously, uh, I guess the uh, whole uh, going mainstream Mm -hmm. and obviously sharing truth and debunking lies. I have a pretty good uh, content today, honey, because I Mm -hmm. think it really hits home with the Asian community. Mm -hmm. Uh, One of the things you guys know is like, you know, we really enjoy speaking about how the truth, how feminism, right? All these Mm -hmm. current topics, trending, everything like that. What you guys have seen with all the recent things with, you know, Will Smith and Mm -hmm. Jada Pinkett Smith, right? Uh, Kind of this evolution of what you see is happening with this gynocentric society Mm -hmm. that we're living in. Uh, And I always like talking about how it affects our community, honey, right? The Asian community, honey. Mm -hmm. So today's video, guys, the title of the video is The Phantom Menace. Mm -hmm. And this is a shout out to all you Star Wars fans out there. I'm a pretty big Star Wars fan. I wouldn't say I'm like a diehard, diehard Star Wars fan. I'm like so-so. But I but I do I I do like them. Mm -hmm. Uh full disclosure, I I don't like the new ones. (laughs) I haven't seen uh-huh. any of the new ones recently you like the older ones yeah it's just too woke guys and this this is you know once again right the feminism ideology destroyed mm-hmm. our movies too yep. movies that we grew up and loved and everything like that right they're changing it yeah. so honey mm-hmm. before we get into it do you remember this movie this was a prequel from the original mm-hmm. uh you know trilogy Tr- yeah right so it was, this was the first movie in the remake, I guess, or the second series of mm-hmm. trilogies, and it was the first movie in that set, and it's mm-hmm. um, it has to kind of deal with something else with the title. Do you remember this movie? Not fully. Okay, so I mean, it, it's a while ago. So, honey. so just just how about the title then? The Phantom Menace. What does mm-hmm. that in- invoke to you when you when you hear the title Phantom Menace? Well, menace. We already know what that means. Okay, well, what is it? It's troublemaker. Okay, so some type of trouble, (laughs) Trouble, some type of danger, danger, some type of thing going on. And Mm -hmm. then what do you think about the Phantom? Phantom is a rescue of danger. I don't know, putting himself in danger type deal. No, so Phantom Phantom implies hidden, right? Ghosts, unforeseeable, Mm -hmm. unseeable, right? Mm -hmm. And so there's this unseeable danger. Mm -hmm. There's this unseeable evil presence, Mm -hmm. okay? And so in the movie, yep. right? I'm not going to get into the movie too much, guys, because like I'm sure there's a lot of Star Wars 
fans, nerds, whatever you want to call us out there that knows the movie way more than I do. But in essence, the premise of the movie is this is like the Sith Mm -hmm. that has been dormant for a long time. The Sith is the enemy of the Jedi, Jedi. right? Mm -hmm. So the evils, right? The evil guys, right? So they've been dormant for a long time. And so the, the 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 Jedi has been experiencing this this you know years this decades this mm-hmm. this just gen, you know um, millennial of peace mm-hmm. right and so they thought that they had squashed and destroyed the Sith mm-hmm. what they didn't know is that there's the Sith Lord that has been kind of hiding in their yeah. shadows mm-hmm. and growing power yeah. and so that's the Phantom Menace, Menace right right yep. and so I wanted to relate it to today's topic guys mm-hmm. because. This ideology of feminism, mm-hmm. this ideology of woke SJW culture mm-hmm. has been h- hiding mm-hmm. within the Asian community mm-hmm. for a long time, right? And that's kind of what the warning I want to say to you guys too today. Obviously, it's it's apparent, more apparent now than mm-hmm. it was previous yeah. when I was growing up. Yeah. When I was growing up, thinking back about it now, I realized how much it was there, yep. but I just didn't notice it. Mm-hmm. That's the reason why, guys, I got so ingrained with, you know, uh, the the RP oh, community yeah. and the Manosphere, and even just like even like tradcon tradcon channels like uh, Ben Shapiro or freaking Matt Walsh or Steven Crowder, right? Like I got into those because like there was this hidden danger that I was sensing mm-hmm. growing up, you know, for the last three decades, and then it finally revealed yeah, itself yeah. to me. That hey no, it's because of this feminist movement. It's mm-hmm. this this ideology of they want us to have this slave mentality, mm-hmm. right? That way everyone just literally just works for the system, yeah. right? And so guys, but today I want to talk about how it, it relates to how it's been festering within the Asian community. Yeah. Okay. And so guys, a couple of things that are telltale signs of why we are living in that. This, this phantom menace, mm-hmm. right? We talked about it in terms of men and women's inter mm-hmm. dynamics, right? Interrelational yep. dynamics, right? So men, Asian men specifically, mm-hmm. are the least desired men on dating apps. Mm-hmm. We know that from statistical. You check Tinder, you check Instagram, you check approval of all these dating websites, right? Yep. Asian men are the least desired men, Even right? In the movies, they they don't make Asian men desirable or, or for all sure. That it's stuff. apparent. Yeah, like it's, if you if you watch any type of media, movies, TV, look goofy and all that crap. Well, one, if we're even yeah. represented, yeah. first off, right? Even mm-hmm. if we're represented as Asian men, right? Yep. Most of the time, if it's a commercial, we there, there might be an Asian dude in the commercial, but you. Usually it has to do with some type of IT or... Like I said, they always make him look goofy. Yeah, he's not an alpha male in these commercials, Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, like, shout out, okay? There's a lot of good-looking men out there that are Asian, okay? But why do they always portray the guy to either, ah, you know, like he's doing kung fu action or he's, like, goofy guy that, that, you know, that... Women don't even like want to like very beta. You know? Very beta. Let's yeah, let's very just be beta. honest. Very beta, you know? right? If if he if he's even represented at at all mm-hmm. in media, whether that's movies, commercials, or whatever, yeah, he's for sure represented as a beta. Yeah, as a weak person. And then if he's muscular or something or whatever else, then they make him look like you know he's evil. He's like the war. You know what I mean? Like, or let's be honest, guys. You know, let's so. be honest. So before we get too far ahead of ourselves, yeah. let's be honest. If he is in shape and mm-hmm. has any type, and this is a key, has mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Any type of sexual attraction, because mm-hmm. they've tried to demasculate Asian men, yeah. desexualize Asian men. Because, and I don't want to get in too far, but he's most likely gay, mm-hmm. right? If it's that's it, he's most likely gay. If he dresses mm-hmm. well, you know, and has a good shape, he's mm-hmm. most likely not straight. Mm-hmm. I mean, look at the look at the Doja Cat, the Asian dude in the Doja Cat video, right? Mm-hmm. In the Doja Cat video, I forgot. Feel so good or whatever her video is. Yeah. Anyway, a very popular song, right? Mm-hmm. And yeah, in that video, he is glorified, uh, sexualized as a uh, potential male suitor, right? Mm-hmm. But in the TV show, who? What is he? Mm-hmm. He's a gay gay man partner to one of the TV shows. Well, that's what I'm just right? trying to say. Is like so. Anyways, okay, we won't get so, you yeah, there. So so, and then of course another another stat, right? These are all mm-hmm. stats that you guys can go check up, right? And if I find it, I guess if we find it, we can post the links on there as mm-hmm. well too for you guys. But this is not hard to find, right? Yeah. Uh, Asian women. I mm-hmm. talked about this in our previous one of our yeah. previous videos, right, honey? Uh, Asian women are are marrying mm-hmm. outside, outside of their race yep. at a greater percentage of the fifty percent. Mm-hmm. So that means our own women are not marrying us yep. now, right? 
this stat right here, I don't think I don't. This is me talking BS. Mm-hmm. But if I had to guess, mm-hmm. in terms of Asian American men, and that okay, and, and let me let me clarify once again. This is Asian Americans, Asians in the Western societies, mm-hmm. right? We're not talking about like Asians in China or Asians in the actual country mm-hmm. homeland. We're talking about yep. Asian Americans, Asians mm-hmm. within the here. Western yep. community. Western societies that have been obviously plagued by feminism, right? Mm-hmm. I had to guess Asian men are probably right now. There's a stat going out there in terms of how many men are virgins, mm-hmm. right? It's like thirty something percent of men mm-hmm. between the ages of eighteen and thirty are virgins, mm-hmm. and it's and it's and it's continuing to rise. Yep. If I had to guess, mm-hmm. Asian men probably is higher. Mm-hmm. Guys, hey, guys, go do some research for us. Yep. Go check out that stat. And then write it down. Yeah. Type it down. If I had to guess, it's probably closer to 50%. Mm-hmm. Just the fact that we're so undesired on dating apps, mm-hmm. I don't see how we could be less yep. than 50% in terms of virginity for these men that are 18 to 30. Yep. Right? Especially as, you know, as we get into this video some more on some of the cultural breakdowns mm-hmm. and obviously some of like, the pressures yeah. that the Asian community gets, right, honey? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Right, and then obviously too, Asian American women mm-hmm. have been influenced by Western society, yeah. right? Being a boss babe, mm-hmm. you can go sleep with as many men as you know you want, mm-hmm. and it's okay, right? Men and women are the same, nope, right? Not. So let's let's break it down real quick, and we'll, I guess we'll attack it from the female side first, mm-hmm. right? Okay. So Asian women, right, now that they live in a Western society, right, Mm -hmm. they are no longer held to these strict cultural uh, rules, I guess, for lack of better words, Mm -hmm. right, that I know that we grew up with, you know, Mm -hmm. first generation, second generation Asians, Americans, right? We're already technically into, like, fourth generation if you think about it, Mm -hmm. right, guys? So, like... Like I was telling you guys, we're second generation, my mm-hmm. wife and I, right? So our parents were the first ones over. to come mm-hmm. over from, of course, these war-torn countries, yeah. right? That was in mm-hmm. war, and so you obviously had to escape it, right? Mm-hmm. And so we're the second generation. So yeah. we lived this very unique lifestyle of yeah. like we grew up very old-school, traditional mm-hmm. with our parents. Yeah. But then we were exposed yeah. With the, the schooling yep. and our friends with this right. Western society. Mm-hmm. But because we had that original cultural influence, yep. and some of us obviously came here when we were a little bit older, uh-huh. so we didn't get 100% Westernized, yeah. right? We kind of had this dual culture mm-hmm. going on, yep. right? Yep. But if you look at like the millennials, because we're Gen X, right, honey? Mm-hmm. If you look at the millennials, the kids that were born after us, yep. right? or the kids and or even Gen Z now yep. and the kids that were born from our generation right like mm-hmm. we birthed these kids yep. they're completely westernized now oh yeah i mean yep. sorry sad to say but like mm-hmm. a lot of us gen xers yep. are 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 i would consider americanized yeah. not 100% traditional mm-hmm. asian culture yeah. right mm-hmm. and this is also the other sad reality gen xers were harshly influenced with the feminism culture Mm -hmm. right some of us luckily like my wife and i were kind of shielded from that culture Mm -hmm. because we stayed relatively within our families Mm -hmm. but the majority of us in the gen x you know you were this was the generation that really got turned Mm -hmm. by the feminism lies yes and so they were the ones that were pushing really hard and i'm talking about our generation gen x Mm -hmm. yeah we were the ones unfortunately we are to blame pushing the millennials and the gen z's you know into all this freaking woke bs and you know and feminism and everyone's the same and this them they their whatever correct pronoun bs right Mm-hmm. So unfortunately, say our generation is to blame for that. I hate, I hate to say it, but it is the truth, right? Mm-hmm. And so now you have how sad was that? Yeah. And so now our kids might be affected, and your kids and your kids down the line if yeah. we don't change it now. Correct. Mm-hmm. So this is the thing about Asian culture that really didn't get pushed on a lot mm-hmm. versus like you know just na- uh, reality. Mm-hmm. Human biology is always going to take over, right? Yeah. If a woman, she's going to be naturally uh, attracted to taller men. We talked about this in our other mm-hmm. videos, right? 
uh, um, attracted to obviously fame, status, mm-hmm. and wealth, right? The yep. men's values, right? Mm-hmm. But when you lived within like a very strict Asian culture, mm-hmm. you were kind of shielded from that yeah. because your parents, because of unfortunately indoctrination of the they Asian- they were passing it from their parents. And Correct. Their, and know? so the traditional Asian culture, guys, mm-hmm. go check out our other video about that one where we talk, yeah. we kind of broke it down, the, the sins of the father, right? Mm-hmm. Asian culture like only kind of stuck with only some of the values Mm -hmm. because you have to remember we lived in a communistic, you know, communism society, right? A socialistic or so. So, you know, trying to stand apart from the crowd Mm -hmm. was was definitely not wanted. Right. Mm -hmm. It was not a no, no. So so fame status as one of the men's uh, values Mm -hmm were not really glorified. glorified no. Your your status and your fame came from your finance mm-hmm. more, right? So if you were a doctor, if you if you had a profession that was honorable mm-hmm. per se and made a lot of money, then that's how you would get your status or your fame. Mm-hmm. But you wouldn't get your status or your fame by just becoming rich and throwing money around no. and like they don't want you to flaunt that stuff because a is like, you know, you're not supposed to glorify that, that you have wealth and I'll, stuff. I'll, and B, it's because sometimes it's also danger. You're yeah. attracting I'll, danger. I'll give you guys a prime example. You know? I'll give you guys a prime example. Mm-hmm. My wife and I grew up in the generation where we had all these sex tapes released. Mm-hmm. Remember uh, Kim Kardashian? Remember, mm-hmm. um, uh, gosh, that Baywatch la- uh, g- lady? Um, Pamela. Pamela Anderson, right? Yeah. Uh, we grew up in that time. Right. And then we also got and, uh, Paris Hilton. And, uh, Paris and, and you notice in mm-hmm. Western society, when something like that happens, mm-hmm. yes, of course, they get made fun of or whatever. Mm-hmm. But you notice that their status and their fame so got glorious. better. Yes. Maybe not in the way that you would like it. Maybe yeah. some people would call that infamous. Well, everybody but, knows but, her But now. you got famous and you because can make money from yeah. it and you can get glory from it. Mm-hmm. You can turn it around, I guess, and not actually make money Asia. from it. I remember at the same time, Mm -hmm. I remember the same time, there was very similar Mm -hmm. Hong Kong, Taiwanese uh, movie stars that that got the same thing. Guys, go do your research because I'm blanking out on these on these people's names. But I remember around the same time, there was a dude, a famous Hong Kong or Taiwanese actor and his laptop got hacked. Mm -hmm. And they found all these sex pictures of Mm -hmm. him and other stars, uh, Asian stars, Mm -hmm. uh, female stars. Guys. He didn't get famous. No. Nope. He had to go to reclusion. He got banned. He, in yeah. essence, he had to go to uh, seclusion. Even women. For months mm-hmm. until the, the whole drama died yeah. out. He didn't get fame. He didn't freaking get more no. money. He didn't get clout, no status. And the women for sure got no, shamed. It was they shame. had to quit their jobs. They had oh, to go yeah. back to their families. In essence, they had to lay low yeah. until all this stuff blew over. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. So I told you, that's what I'm trying to say. So, so. In the Asian culture, the no. status and the fame is is, 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 is very closely tied yeah. to your job, your finance, your, your family profession. honor, your name. I mean, if Correct. you tarnish it, whether it's a male or female, you're tarnishing like your image for, you know, the people around you to see. And if you're famous, also if you're in Asia, you're famous on top of that. You tarnish your, your name and image, your whole family is like, you know, being shunned. Correct. There There is no like turning back. It, and that's how it is. They don't want to even want to associate they, with yeah. you. Like, you know, you're, people are not going to do business with you. You're like blacklisted. Yeah. It, in a way, guys, it, 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 it was kind of similar to how the West used to be before mm-hmm. feminism. Yeah. Right. Because you would, you know, obviously if you had a, a scandal, that's what they mm-hmm. would call it. Right. A scandal back in the day. I'm sorry, Kim Kardashian wasn't a scandal. I think her mom leaked the dang tape, and that's how they got themselves yeah. up. And yeah, but that's yeah. my my theory on that. But like I said, like I said, it was because of this feminism mm-hmm. ideology, yeah. right? So okay, so, so so that's that's the 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 finance and the fame. And guys, mm-hmm. fitness for men is not highly coveted in the Asian culture because mm-hmm. think about it, we're kind of going towards that right now. Mm-hmm. As much as this is another lie that I want to debunk right now. Yep. As much as you guys think we live in a free country, a Western you know society, free country, mm-hmm. right? And then, Nothing's free. Let me tell you guys that. No, right I'm now. telling you guys right now, it's completely the opposite mm-hmm. of what we used to think yep. the American dream was. Mm-hmm. The reason why men's fitness is not valued in the Asian community mm-hmm. is because of the communism, socialism, d- uh, uh, freaking dictatorship, mm-hmm. uh, dictatorship mm-hmm. ideology, mm-hmm. guys. 
men's fitness is the only thing that can conquer tyranny. That's I told right. you guys that many times. We are men are the only gender that can stand up and fight against tyranny. Yeah. Do you think the Asian communist regime of China, you think want men to stand up within their community and mm-hmm. be like, "Okay, hey, we're going to overthrow this freaking tyrannical yeah. government that only allows us to have one kid every year, uh, you know, will pretty much can shut you down, kill, mm-hmm. take your business whenever you want to?" No, they've killed that idea, you know, that mindset of the free man for so long now. Uh-huh. And one of the easiest ways to do it, and you and you guys are seeing that right now, what's uh-huh. happening in the Western societies, killing the masculine uh-huh. imperative, the masculine, right? The masculine and traits. And you're really masculine, all buff and everything, you're practically gay. And you're like, eh. Yeah, my yeah I mean, it's like, come on, guys. guys there's a reason why. If you why look, have all that muscle and look good? Yeah. We can't even protect. You're like freaking worried about your damn nail or your shirt. But you, but but let's be honest. The majority uh, of Asian men, if, if and all all my Asian brothers who travels overseas mm-hmm. or have lived in Asia or even like maybe traditionally Asian, we'll attest to this. Gyms and that type of stuff mm-hmm. was not even a thing until fairly recently. Yep. Right. Very true. Gyms were not a thing. Like, dude, like I, when I went to China several years back. I couldn't find a damn gym. Mm. There was no gym in the hotel. Yeah. Right? There wasn't. Right? And then, like, now they're starting to pop up a little bit because of, obviously, you know, social media and the internet and everything like that. But it wasn't a big thing. And then let's be honest, too. Look at all the the, the male popular stars in Asian cinema. Mm. Right? Of course you have your kung fu heroes, of course. Right? Yeah. Right, but let's be honest. The majority of them are feminized. Yeah. Right? K-pop stars. Like I just said. Freaking, you know. Those are the ones that like are those being those kind of guys our... that are going to protect you when th- there's a war that's going to happen. No, they're they're more emotional. Are than you the, sure the they're not going to the, go get the, a powder the, stick or yeah, something to exactly. puff themselves up to look good? I All mean, right. come on, dude. We need so, man to be a man to be strong. I mean, this is why most government want to push the men down. Yeah. Most of the time, they don't glorify you working out, getting buff to do, be manly. <laughs> To show your power, your strength. Because you know why? Because you're the only one that can stand up to them if there was war to happen or things that happen. Okay, we're telling you, government is this small. Just like China. Their government is this small. But you know what? We have billions, you guys have billions of people on earth. But you let a little person like this to take over. Because why? Because you guys, they are not putting, you know, forth that, hey, you, you know, men, you got to be strong. It's, you got to work out. You got to buff. You got to eat it, right. Guys, it's, it's the don't. way to... S- to control you. yeah it's a way to 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 obviously keep you as slaves working for them right obviously it makes sense when i put it in the context of communism and mm-hmm. dictatorship and so on. but the fact that you guys don't see it plain sight in front of you in the western society yeah. that you don't see that happening in real time oh. and, and we're not fighting up against it you like i said it's crazy okay so that's that's what the women's are are looking for for the men's values. Mm-hmm. So in a traditional Asian culture, that's the reason why it was it worked mm-hmm. because women were told to not look for those features, mm-hmm. right? They say, hey, it was very strict. The parents were very strict in terms of like selecting mm-hmm. for the women as well too in yeah. the traditional Asian household, right? Mm-hmm. And so they were told to just look for a man that could be financially. Yeah. Well, to do to mm-hmm. take care of you, yeah, right. And so you were kind of, in a way, indoctrinated to meet those standards yourself as females, yeah. right? But let's be honest too. Okay, let's 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 flip the script a little bit in terms of the the women's values now, mm-hmm. right? Yes, women were meant to be beautiful and petite, but let's be honest, they didn't. They, we, there was no things about like. Uh, boobs like you know like big mm-hmm. boobs like not nothing like you know the Marilyn Monroe nothing like the 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 bombshell well, that's fitness level world. that's now, my point though this. so you know mm-hmm. like that's the reason why Asians weren't historically you know big butts big mm-hmm. boobs right because the women's fitness was more on the reverse of being as innocent and as young as possible yeah. like they have a very strict code over there in terms of like female the beauty hourglass. well it's not even really our guy it's like being very young and very mm-hmm. innocent your purity your virginity mm-hmm. yeah right that that's like the, the 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 key 
Well, they're not the doing that thing. right now, honey. Well, definitely not in the Western you're, society. You're going to try to just okay. go look around to see yeah, if let, these let, women are like even said, half of them. You can find okay. a virgin Well, one. before before we get ahead of ourselves, like I said, I'm, I'm just trying to let you guys know how, how it worked within the confines yeah. of the traditional. And now, mm-hmm. and then I'll flip it over and you'll see how, unfortunately, the Western ideology has corrupted all that, oh, right? Yeah. Okay, so women's fitness weren't like, obviously, to be well endowed and be the sex symbol. It was more mm-hmm. of just to retain your purity, yep. your innocence. Mm-hmm. Right. And what did I tell you guys in terms of uh, what men like find most attractive? Mm-hmm. It's your youth and your yeah. innocence. Yeah. Right. And then, of course, obviously, femininity. Right. Mm-hmm. Women were traditionally taught. Right. To, to take care of the house, the clean up. Mm-hmm. Right. So that, you know, being nurturing, be kind, be cooperative. Right. Because in the Asian culture, mm-hmm. as as most other, you know, non-Western society cultures understood, yeah. women are weaker than men. They understand that if the man wants to destroy them or hurt them, it can happen. Mm-hmm. And especially in those cultures, too, where they kind of almost allow it a little bit. Mm-hmm. Let's be honest, right? Well, we're not saying that we I'm allow not condoning those that. Not yeah, condoning I'm not going to. I'm just saying that it's more socially acceptable yes. in those cultures because yes. of that view, right? That, that, that old world mm-hmm. view, right? And so, yeah. of course, the women, uh, you know, inherently are more. Mm-hmm. cooperative or more nice more well, because they're, they're brought they're brought up that women should play a certain role and then yes. men place a certain role like his role is hey you you bring you provide things for my cho- my daughter take care of her and all that mm-hmm. stuff mm-hmm. the woman's role is hey i'm supporting my husband i need to look good i need to be nurturing i need to care for my kids yeah. i need to know how to cook different foods what he like dislike those are the kind of things like nurturing to your kids and your husband yeah and she, it's and it's not gold digging guys no it isn't gold no. digging is like if you want the money in exchange for your potential of of mm-hmm. course like you know in the western view right in change for a potential sex right yeah. to get a car or mm-hmm. to get a handbag Right, mm-hmm. it's the purpose. We always talk about the purpose, right? Because yeah. that's the westernized. Well, is that the the trade? Well, but my point is, you know. it's the purpose, mm-hmm. right? Our channel is very clear on the purpose, yeah. right? And we've said it many times, but we're talking about the big lie now. Mm-hmm. The Western culture, you know, the Western feminism, this whole problem we're facing right now in the West mm-hmm. is because of the big lie: yep. sex for resources, mm-hmm. right? And so it's this sex for a handbag, mm-hmm. sex for a car, or dinner, sex for jewelry, or sex for so. But see. They're not gold digging in these other cultures no. like the Asian culture is because mm-hmm. they were doing it for the purpose of family mm-hmm. and kids. Yeah. So it wasn't for the no. resource. Not it was for yeah. the truth. Mm-hmm. So women were knowing that they had to trade their values, which are the correct values. Well, not anymore, honey. You I can't. The Western correct. world has sort of now influenced the other side. Women. That's why it's the Women title of our anymore. video, right? Women aren't like that anymore. Even in the West, I have friends all over the world. Women aren't like that anymore. Now, because of Western world, the women here, women, you know, influence over here from there now. They're doing similar things right now, just like what we are doing here. So let, let's get into it real quick, honey. And that's so let's get, sad. Because we're, we're on our last value, right? So we just yeah. broke down the men's value. We're okay. broken down like traditional, it's right? Sad. right? That's what I'm trying to say. And of course, fidelity, right? Let's mm-hmm. be honest. In the, in the Asian culture, we just talk about those movie stars, right? Mm-hmm. If your fidelity, if, if you know, there was ever a thing of like you slept with somebody out there, you'd be shamed as a oh, traditional yeah. Asian mm-hmm. Asian woman, okay? Yeah. So no no question about it. Your fidelity mm-hmm. had to be virgin or like, Very, it, it better like be like your less. husband-to-be, right? Yeah. Like if they found out about it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get to how the Western society, the phantom menace, right? This feminism ideology has permanent. And guys, it starts with the parents, Mm -hmm. right? It always starts with the parents, right? The problem is two reasons, Mm -hmm. right? America, uh, when our when our parents came over here, a couple things happened, Mm -hmm. right? Yes, we came to a better life. Mm -hmm. We have opportunity now. We can go get a job. Oh, my God. We work hard. We actually get paid a lot of money to work mm-hmm. hard. We can open up our own business, own our yeah. own house. Shit. Yeah. You know, the government ain't going to take stuff. Awesome. The problem is mm-hmm. the parents focus too much on that. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm not saying that's the wrong thing, guys. I'm not saying because I focus on that too much as well, too, right now in terms mm-hmm. of me. Mm-hmm. Right. But the problem was the Asian parents in general, mm-hmm. both of them focus on that aspect. Yep. Right. Because you came from nothing. And I'm not giving them an excuse, but you came from nothing. Or, and now you have this 
opportunity. Well, nothing in terms they lost everything during the war. I'm just saying you came from you not know? only nothing, but you also came from a lack of opportunity. Mm-hmm. And so now you have this opportunity. It's like, it's, oh, my God, I found a well that mm-hmm. gives me water every time I go to it. Mm-hmm. Why would I not go to it every day and draw from the well? Yeah. Right. And so that's what they did is they should, you know, shoot, I can do this every day, work hard and provide financially. Because remember, Mm -hmm. what is the big trait that we always look for in Asian culture? Mm -hmm. Finance, Finance. right? So money. That's a big one with Asian. Big one, right? They don't care about the looks. And and that is how we're also going to gather our Mm -hmm. status and our Mm -hmm. fame as a family, right? We Mm -hmm. focus on the finance, make a job or have a good job or open up our own business and Mm -hmm. get all this money from that business or our job. This is where we can be famous and have our status and bring glory and honor to our freaking family, right? The problem is your kids had to be somewhere. Mm -hmm. So and instead instead of being like traditional where the man would go work. Mm -hmm. Right. And then the woman, the wife would stay at home. Nope. Both parents, parents would go, go work. work. Right. Because they say, shoot, you help me out. My, my husband and wife, let's go work at our restaurant. And we'll make more let's money. go work at our hair mm-hmm. salon and we'll freaking work, combine our forces together, work 12 hours, 15 hours a day. And we'll make all this money and provide for our kids to go to school and have this great life. Well, the kids went to mm-hmm. school. And unfortunately, got they got indoctrinated mm-hmm. by influence yep. by this feminism Western society, yep. and you were not there mm-hmm. to shield them from it. Yeah. And not only were you not there to shield it from it, mm-hmm. but as Asian parents as well too. Let's be mm-hmm. honest; they're we're, they're not the best communicators no. of traditional values, mm-hmm. right? Or just values in general, or just teaching in general. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, son, hey, daughter, you need to know these things. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about sex let's talk about your fitness it's let's like, talk why why you know like they don't even want you to ask the question why it's like just do it this way you got to go study this you got to so, get this that so but it's in like, the asian traditional you know? household it worked because there was this huge oversight mm-hmm. the woman the, the the daughter the 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 girl in that family would be literally hey you wake up in the morning do the clothes, mm-hmm. make the bed for everyone, cook breakfast for everyone before mm-hmm. the men go to work, right? And then obviously the boys, hey, you know, go to work with the dad, right? Go teal the fields, whatever. In that sense, mm-hmm. you would play very strict role and you would be strictly regulated <laughs> and oversight. Then. But that's my mm-hmm. point, right? But in Western society, like I said, no. because of the both parents leaving mm-hmm. to go do their thing, which was necessary to become mm-hmm. financial, they left the kids to their own devices. Mm-hmm. And so the kids, unfortunately, became westernized. Mm-hmm. I know because my wife and I, Gen X, we all experienced it. Mm-hmm. Some more than others, of course, mm-hmm. right? Some more than others. Luckily, our parents were, were, I guess, I wouldn't say smart. I don't think they meant to do it. Mm-hmm. But they were at least traditional enough to come home and be like, hey, guys, you guys have to do this. Mm-hmm. You know, clean up the house. Work hard. Do oh, this yeah. stuff, right? Uh, make sure you're honorable. Don't make sure you, you shame the family, oh, right? Yeah. Uh, us women, we shame the family. We're out. We're kicked out. They'll disown us. Like, literally disown us. Like, take out your name. Psh, you're out. Correct. Correct. Like, yeah. But let's, I'm talking generalizations now. Mm-hmm. We, we happen to be the exception to the norm. So I don't want to yeah. use our situation, guys, as what really happened. Mm-hmm. Let's be honest. The majority of what happened was that the parents were gone. Oh, yeah. The kids were left to their own devices mm-hmm. without really a clear direction of what values needed to be to be successful in this mm-hmm. world. And of course, they just got harped on in terms of just verbal harped on, but not really teaching like actual no. walking through, holding my hand and showing me actually how to mm-hmm. do it process yeah. of hey, girl be, you know, be, fam- you know, don't, 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 you know, like don't go date dudes, right? Mm-hmm. Just come home and study. And, and boys, the same thing. Just go home, study, and focus on your job, right? Mm-hmm. But what they didn't realize was that they didn't teach us about the fitness level, mm-hmm. right? They didn't teach women about being feminine and cooperative mm-hmm. and being nurturing because they just say, hey, well, just focus on school. Don't sleep around. And this is why most of them are feeling a little awkward. I'm sorry to say it to my Asian community. Now, that is why the men's a little, you know, acting a little awkward because you didn't teach them these things. Like, hey, dude, you you know, with all that study you did, you can balance it with working out, looking good, you know, have confidence in yourself, where you're at and stuff. Asian parents don't tell you those things. Yeah. It's like all you do, oh, you study what? You want to be a doctor? Okay, just focus on a doctor. You're going to bring family honor. But you know what? That guy's awkward as heck. Yeah, so. He can't talk to the other they, people. They didn't. Because all you focus is study. That they was didn't, it. Yeah, they didn't adapt their Asian kids mm-hmm. to the Western 
Yeah. Right. The Western way of values. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that this is just a Western way of values, guys, because mm -hmm. we talked about these values as being truths, right? Yeah. The fitness, the finance, the fame, right? The fitness, the femininity, the fidelity. But they w didn't teach those things mm -hmm. to each gender specifically yeah. to take into account the Western ideology of mm -hmm. things, right? And so what happened was your kids came out, came out to the world mm -hmm. with, in essence, no understanding of it. Yeah. Right. And and then just with this traditional ideology of finance and mm -hmm. school. Yeah. Right. And so let's 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 break down the women's real quick. Right. Because let's be honest, like the uh, did, did your Asian, you know, your family, honey, when you when you grew up, besides like being like, you know, pretty and cute and stuff like that, did they really focus on like staying in shape, going, working out to you? Like they did they ever talk to you about that? No. at No, I'm the youngest. And no, I'm, I think I'm more like active than most of my siblings are. Mm -hmm. Like I would do sports and, you know, do after school activities and, you know, all that stuff. Active yeah. part, like, cause you know, I did track a and, lot. And, so. and guys, one real quick, like my they wife, didn't focus on yeah, that, my no. wife is Gen X. So mm -hmm. luckily, you know, traditionally the baby boomers that obviously raised the Gen X, right? Mm -hmm. The silent generation that raised the silent, at least they kind of like held you to traditional beauty standards. Mm -hmm. Right. They said, that, hey, you know, don't be dirty. Like, you know, make yourself up like mm -hmm. like all your sisters at least kept themselves pretty beautiful when they were young. Mm -hmm. Right. And I know like a lot of Asian women from yeah. your generation was at least very traditionally beautiful, right. kept themselves thin. Right. Mm -hmm. That type of stuff. But if you look at like Asian girls now in like the millennial mm -hmm. and Gen Z phase, no, they don't care about their weight no. anymore. They're not no. thin anymore. Nope. You know, they, 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 they pretty much go eat whatever they want to eat. And they freaking pretty much can like, like they're not held to the traditional no. like slim Asian feminine beauty standards. Yeah. Well, my dad right? liked long hair. He said women need to have long hair. Yeah. Uh, well kept. He did not let us wear like you know shorts or anything like that. We had to have like either long pants that covered our close to our ankle, or dresses. The only time I think I started wearing like you know skirts and stuff like that or shorts is when i met when you know yeah i think we we're started, engaged yeah you know? yeah we're, we're pretty much engaged. almost there yeah because once you know once you put a ring on finger and you're engaged my dad's like you know what that's your husband's thing you know yeah. you're done you know i mean and, I've already, and, you know, and that, that's how he was and, and that was the bad thing and the good thing about gen x so obviously gen x we still had that very traditional upbringing but the problem is a lot of women that grew mm -hmm. up as gen xers because of the feminism influence yeah. and they're seeing all their friends doing it and mm -hmm. seeing every other woman ethnicity doing it, they came to resent mm -hmm. what their dad was teaching them or telling yeah. them to do. Mm -hmm. Because the problem, like once again, like I said, the Asian parents didn't really teach. It was more like told you to do, yeah. but they didn't really explain to you why to do it. Well, Does and most people, sense? even teenagers now, they they don't like to be told what to do, you know. But we you do, know what I mean. But that, but my point is, Asian culture specifically had saying. a really terrible, did a really terrible job of explaining. So that's things. why it backfired. Yeah, I mean, I known some people who had strict parents that are Asian, who had yeah. strict parents, and it backfired on them. They did all this stuff, they got the resources yeah. and stuff, and it backfired. And now, and because, now, and now, know? if you look at this current generation yeah. of Asian parents, they pretty much just allow their kids to do everything now. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're like I said, we're the exception to the norm, uh, yeah. norm guys but if you look at the the current generation of like teaching gen z and whatever mm -hmm. this next generation they're kind of allowing their kids to do what the hell ever just mm -hmm. like western parents are doing right well, that's not asian well there are certain things like you know there are certain things my kids are allowed to do and not allowed to do like i can't say that you know even though i'm i, I grew up here and everything i went to preschool and all that stuff there are certain things i would still distill on you know our child like our daughter and our son like with yeah but their because roles, but because know? like i said we know the truth yeah. we know the purpose like i said mm -hmm. we're, we're we're exception to the rule right yeah. and so so then now like i said now you're facing reality because mm -hmm. reality in a western society now you're the reality is allowed to happen too mm -hmm. that's actually a good thing guys i'm not yeah. saying that's a bad thing but now the reality of all these values that need to be correct and needs to be high is exposed mm -hmm. you're no longer living in a traditional uh, asian culture where mm -hmm. these values have only been focused down to finance mm -hmm. right and then like femininity yep. and fidelity for the women right and so now like all these values matter mm -hmm. so now this is the reason why asian women are marrying more outside of their race mm -hmm. because they're saying okay my biology says i want to be protected mm -hmm. i want a man that's stronger and be able to defend me mm -hmm. and so now you know 
obviously, I'm, I'm, it's, it's just biology, guys. I'm not saying Asian men can't be big and strong and tall. Like, I worked out. I became yeah, big. Yeah, but you guys didn't focus on that. But, yeah, because you know, we didn't focus on mm-hmm. that, we're, we're behind the curve. Mm-hmm. You have other ethnicity, white men, black men, mm-hmm. who have been doing this for generations now, mm-hmm. working out, playing sports, living mm-hmm. in a Western society, and getting bigger and taller. Well, yeah, right, eating more food, yeah, eating Western eating food. Stuff. Right. Yeah. If you look at all my 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 cousins and my nephews from this, they're, they're all six feet. They're all six feet and taller. They're six. But feet. if you look at my generation, mm, we're not six feet. Right. It isn't. But mm-hmm. it's gonna take time to develop that. Yeah. But that's the reason why I'm exposing this to you guys now because mm-hmm. we need to make this change in mm-hmm. the Asian com- community mm-hmm. and specifically the Asian men. Mm-hmm. Because I'll warn you guys this, men. As much as you guys say, well, hey, you know. The women have to do something too, right? Okay, mm-hmm. I get it, right? We talk yeah. about the feminism ideology you have to die in 2022, right? Like, mm-hmm. I'm all for it, right? And women, you have to change. I get it. But men, we are the only ones that are con- truly in control of our own destiny, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And the only way that women of any ethnicity, mm-hmm. let alone our mm-hmm. own ethnicity, yeah. is going to respect us mm-hmm. is if we become Res- that leader. Yep. Right. If we become the taller, the stronger. Yeah. Right. I hate to say it. Maybe this is a controversial statement. Maybe maybe I'll get shamed for this. Right. Mm-hmm. But look at the black community. Mm-hmm. Do their black women. And maybe some people will say, oh, hey, Tuan, you're Asian. You shouldn't be talking about other ethnicities. Mm-hmm. Right. But do the black women respect their black men? Mm-hmm. I'll let you guys figure that out. Answer that question. Right. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Kevin Samuels. Shout out mm-hmm. to Fresh and Fit. Fred, shout out to all these channels that are starting to expose mm-hmm. that reality, right? And that's why I'm trying to say I'm warning my Asian brothers now. That's the Phantom Menace, guys. That's mm-hmm. really the key topic of this video is if we lose respect from our Asian women, mm-hmm. it clearly shows that we're not leaders. Yeah. It clearly shows that we're not men of value. Mm-hmm. Because if you can't even control your own women, mm-hmm. that means you're not high value quality men. Right. Because we already talked about this. I mean, statistically, people want to marry within their own ethnicities Most as much time. as much as you maybe, you know, we live in a day and age now where like it's cool to date, marry outside your ethnicity. Mm-hmm. I got no problem with it myself. I'm not no nope. problem at all. My kids mm-hmm. marry someone else. Totally fine. I got yep. no problem. But biologically, just inherently, we mm-hmm. like to date, marry within our own within our own ethnicity. Mm-hmm. So it says a lot that our Asian women are marrying outside of their race. Yep. And it says a lot that Asian men are the least desired men in dating apps. Mm-hmm. It shows that we don't have the values. Well, let me tell you guys, okay? I understand your parents focuses on the education part, sending you guys to all these activities and all these education stuff. But what is it doing for you? You know, you're losing... You're, you're losing your chances of getting, you know, with the, the you know, supposedly valued type woman that's supposed to fit in your category, but you're not. Because now you, you don't know how to socialize. All you did is focus on study. All your parents shoved you to do is, hey, when you study well, you'll make a lot of money. But mm-hmm. they don't tell you, hey, you know, you need to interact with people. Yeah. Well, you this need, is my. You know, this all is, that stuff. The, you need to balance with the workout, the, kiddo. The, the, this is my warning to Asian you men. Know? and And like I said. Hate me all you want, but we can use the the the, the black community as mm-hmm. uh, as a uh, I guess a a model, mm-hmm. right? As much as the black man has became sexualized now, mm-hmm. right? Obviously, black men are one of the most desired ethnicities on dating apps. Yeah, in, but not in, with their women. But not with their own women. And that's sad. Not with their and, own and, women. And look at this, guys. Just like the Asian men aren't desirable with yeah, their own but, Asian women. But, that's sad. Yeah, but let me finish, honey. Well, not only we're not desirable with our own our own Asian women, mm-hmm. but we're not desirable by any mm-hmm. ethnic women. Mm-hmm. And this is the other warning I want to give you guys too. Even if we get desired by other ethnicities, mm-hmm. but we don't have the respect from our own mm-hmm. Asian women, look at what, the, what has happened to the black community. Mm-hmm. They're not even respected mm-hmm. because if other ethnicity of men mm-hmm. and guys. I don't give a shit. I'm going to say it as it is. Come and come and get me. Come and hate me. Mm-hmm. If you don't have respect from your own freaking Asian, uh, own ethnicity women, you ain't going to have any respect from any other ethnicity of men. Mm-hmm. So we complain right now about not being the freaking leader. We complain about not being the alpha man. We complain about not being yep. the president or the CEO. 
until we freaking gain respect from other women, mm-hmm. and specifically our own ethnicity women, yep. we ain't never going to get that. Nope. So that that's that's the key topic here. Mm-hmm. That's really the topic. And, and we can blame, obviously, feminism. We can blame all these social justice, mm-hmm. woke yeah. ideology. Nope. But at the end of the day, it's you. who is going to make the change? Who is going to actually take control of it and take it? I'm doing what I can, guys. You I'm married. I'm married to a beautiful wife. I'm married to my Asian woman already. I'm creating legacy. I'm mm-hmm. becoming wealthy. I'm doing what I can do. All I'm at, I'm telling you guys is to open your eyes and do it for yourself. And do it for yourself and do it for mm-hmm. this Asian community. Because if you look at, like I said, I don't want to keep pointing to it, but mm-hmm. it's a very clear model that mm-hmm. we can use. If the black community continues down this path, right, where the yeah. black man keeps continuing dating outside of his race, not because he wants to, because his women don't respect no. him. Will there technically be a black community in the future? Mm-hmm. Same thing with Asian. So with our mm-hmm. with our community, will mm-hmm. there be an Asian community in the future if not only one, our Asian women don't want us, mm-hmm. but if other women don't want us, yep. will there actually be an Asian American community? And, you know, and at the end of the day, it's you guys. You need to change it for yourself. We can talk all we want on this show. Nothing will change. If you don't want to change, all you think about is just, oh, education, oh, just work, work, work. Well, guess what? And you don't focus on your hygiene. You don't focus on your workout. You don't focus on everything else. It's a full package, guys. If you want to be a but leader, it's a full package. It's I, not I, just a little bit of things. It's a but, package. But I think I think what we can do, you know? honey, and like I said, I, it's not going to be overnight, guys. Mm-hmm. But what we can do is, hey, you guys, right, mm-hmm. reach out to us. Comment to us on the videos, mm-hmm. right? Let us know if you guys have questions. Obviously, I can't help everyone, right? No. Nope. I, I can shoot a video for you guys. I can answer. Excuse me. I can answer questions for you guys. Mm-hmm. And maybe we can provide some help topics in the future, honey. Yep. Like I told you guys, 2022 is going to be a big year for us. Yes. We're going to obviously try to provide more content for you yep. guys. Maybe one of the things we can help is maybe steering Asian men mm-hmm. and possibly Asian women in the right direction so that way we can build Mm -hmm. strong relationships within our community Mm -hmm. and therefore build strong community an Asian American Mm -hmm. community that has our culture, that has our, our values, Mm -hmm. but thriving in a more Western society. Mm -hmm. Cause 'cause guys, we ain't going back. None of us wants to be China. No, none of us wants to be Vietnam. None of us wants to be traditional. I don't, I don't want to freaking go live like live those things. Right. I'm an American. Mm-hmm. I love being an American, right? Yeah. I'll die an American, mm-hmm. right? But we got to change this around. We yes. got to turn this around for the better, yes. right? For the better. So that's the warning, guys. That's the Phantom Menace, right? Got to, got to, got to recognize it now before it becomes too late and it happens mm-hmm. to Revenge of the Sith, right? Yeah. Where all the Jedi's die, yeah. Right, and there's only one last, one last Jedi, right? Mm-hmm. We can stop that now before that happens. And what does that mean? You're dying and living alone. I mean, it's... That's it? Well, no. What that means is there's no Asian community. I'm just saying. There's just one, what, one last person of hope? Dying, yeah. Right? Dying, living alone. Right? So, so I don't want to see that happen. Mm-hmm. That's the reason why I made this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hopefully it opens your eyes. Mm-hmm. Share it with your community. Share it with your family. Yeah. I guarantee you, if you talk to your mom and dad, maybe they won't say it now, but I guarantee you they'll they'll recognize some of the stuff that I'm talking about tonight. Mm-hmm. And uh, hopefully you guys can change it, you yep. know, for the better of our community. True that, honey. See right, you. Bye.